a safe place to call home, a caring community that supports growth and well-being, and a nationwide model of affordable housing for the homeless, where housing is the pillar of health. That is what Villages at Cabrillo is today. But back in 1997, it was just an idea. Well, I remember the first day, there were chain link fences all around it, but very dilapidated. Everything was just in shambles. It had just been totally vandalized. However, where can you find 27 acres in a city like Long Beach? I mean, how could we pass this up? It was the best idea, I think, that came out of the Navy leaving. Those acres were part of about 135 that we had when the Navy left. The original vision was to create a supportive community where uh, people that were experiencing homelessness, people that were, that were at risk, could find a supportive place to call home. And so we began building this continuum, starting with shelter, adding transitional housing programs, and then later we began adding the permanent supportive housing uh, for both our veterans and our families. You know, before I came here, um, when I was living in a transitional house, I had to share everything, and there's always too much noise, there's always somebody in your room, there's always slamming of dominoes, there's always somebody drinking, but here, I was the first person to use my bathroom. You don't know what a feeling that is in life. There was so much positive energy, uh, and it really looked like it was a place uh, that people were proud to call home. You know, most housing developments you know, they don't have the, the social network, you know, the agencies, right, you know, right there with them. You would have to go somewhere else by car or bus, but the majority of agencies are here already. Historically, we've really had where everybody's providing services individually. So you had, you had a person, and if they needed mental health treatment, they went to the mental health provider. If they needed food, they went to the food bank. But it wasn't in a combined effort. We understood that we had to do uh, several things to not only get homeless people off the street, but to prepare them for a productive life. It's the employment assistance, it's the uh, substance abuse uh, treatment, it's the mental health counseling. All of those things need to happen at once. So you really have to bring all those uh, under one roof and provide that comprehensive level of services. And I think the uh, other partners at Cabrillo agreed with that. So we began building all of those uh, different pieces right on site. So I think one thing I've learned in medicine is that healthcare and, and person's health, very little of it is actually strictly medical, but a lot of it has to do with their education, their housing, and their food uh, access, and all these other things that we call the social determinants of health. So what this program and collaboration does, we address all of those things at once, and not just you know touch on the little things here and there and try to kind of cover up and, and put band-aids on, but actually try to get to the core and, and address everything holistically. When I got here, I was shattered due to a domestic violence um, relationship I was living in. Um, I thought that I would have to live with this man for the rest of my life because I couldn't um, take care of myself. Today is like, I work. I have full custody of my kids. At one time I thought I'd never had anybody on my side and today I have so many people on my side to help me out. It took a lot of people, a lot of time, and a great deal of capital from our partners, our financial partners and our government partners. But all along, we've had community support. We've had, you know, county, city. Everybody's wrapped their arms around this project because little by little, they saw the success and they saw that the opportunities to deal with that very difficult homeless population have made a difference. Over the years, the 27-acre campus has evolved. From the original renovation of naval housing units in 2001 to the development of brand new construction like Anchor Place, the Villages at Cabrillo provides both temporary and permanent housing to over 2,000 formerly homeless veterans, families, and children. I like that it's like a, a little town. Everybody kind of knows everybody, everybody greets everybody, it's very friendly. You end up walking to the store by yourself and walking back with just a group of people and you're talking, laughing. My kids love it. They have sleepovers, friends come over, they play Xbox. 
This is a safe community. A lot of love is here. You have to come to one of these places and, and meet the people and meet them in groups and just see the com comradeship and the affection they have for each other and the sharing that goes on. Villas de Cabrillo really uh, is a loud answer to a, a significant social problem. To attack that problem, you really need to attack it in the most aggressive way uh, that you can. One of the things that um, we always keep in mind is that the people coming into the villages come with many, many problems. They have lots of barriers, they have a long history of issues of being homeless, and we're looking at the whole person. It's a long-term philosophy about uh, coming from a trauma-informed place. This place teaches you to, um, to really find yourself, you know, and, uh, and uh, and get in touch with like who you are. Yeah. I think they have the dream team of homeless agencies. Uh, they've got a lot of nonprofits that are working together. We have a piece of artwork at the Villages. It's an anchor uh, from a ship. This anchor is here to remind people that one, obviously the tie to our naval history, but more importantly, this is a safe place. This is a safe harbor where people can come in find safety in the storm of homelessness. They can stop and rest, recover, and eventually reprovision and, and maybe hopefully sail away. Or they can stay here in permanent supportive housing and, and thrive here. The villages at Cabrillo began its journey 20 years ago with a leap of faith. Now, it is a vibrant and growing community where people come first. I was a drug addict for many, many years. Um, in and out of bad relationships, um, in and out of jail and prison. And since I've been here, not only have I, you know, no longer on parole or probation, I have a little dog now. Um, he's a little service animal. Um, I was able to get a car, you know, just little, little steps at a time. And what works at, at uh, the villages at Cabrillo could work anywhere. I hope to see it expand uh, and have even more uh, opportunity for housing at that location. There should be Cabrillo villages in every city in America. The days that make you want to do your job is when we have a client come back and tell us that, you know, without this place, without this housing, without these services, I wouldn't be alive. And then on the other side, you also hear from some of the kids that say, before this, I never had a place to play. I never had a playground like this. We really take great pride in, in, in creating an environment that looks and feels like home. And we've really just, you know, we've worked to fine tune it. It's just becoming better and better um, over time. And we really do have processes now that move things uh, quickly between all of us. And we're very supportive of each other. And we're still not done. We are still have many, many things to do, and we'll continue to enrich our residents' lives. But it's a wonderful legacy, and this is probably the largest development of its kind. It truly just inspires me to, to see what has happened and where we started 20 years ago with talk and an idea and changing lives like I've never seen change before. I'm so proud of the people that started this in the beginning. Uh, because the foundation they gave it was just uh, uh, so sturdy and uh, of course the minute they started uh, and had something on the ground, I mean they had inhabitants immediately. The next 20 years are going to be better than the last 20 years. We're going to have more folks, we're going to help more folks, uh, we're going to create more housing, they're going to have more activities on campus. It's simply going to be growing for the next 20 years and we're gonna to continue to transform lives every day. The villages at Cabrillo have made a huge impact in Long Beach. If you go on the campus, you just see the amount of lives that they're really helping and supporting. We obviously have expanded the campus. The city's a great partner with the villages, and it's just great to see people that are just trying to improve their lives, uh, many of whom have served our country, their families. We are really fortunate as a community to have them here in Long Beach. I, I love being here, and I think for some people, this is a stepping stone to other things, to other programs, to other ways of life. For a lot of us, this is the end of the line. For me, this is my home. There's no other place that I'd rather be right now. 
There's no other place that, I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. I, I want to be here and I, I, I'm not gonna go anyplace else. As Villages at Cabrillo expands into the future, it will need to change and adapt, nurturing new ideas, securing more resources, and most importantly, connecting with people who care. To discover how you can help, stop by for a visit or check out our website.